Hey, I hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing pretty good myself. And McLaren today. Yep. I'm gonna take a look at some of these. Been meaning to do this video for a while. I've just been putting it off. But we've got the Mark McLaren Artura in flux green and also in vermilion red. And I didn't pull the box out, but I also do have this one sitting here. This is the blue one, so. This is kind of like the whole collection right here, all the Arturas we've gotten so far. I think they might be doing one in black. Can't remember. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we've got the McLaren Arturas, 496 on the green. And then this one is number 532. This one came out recently. I don't remember what number the blue one was, but yeah. Anyways, let me get these cracked open. All right, so there we have it. Let's get the plastic off this red one real quick. There's the box, McLaren Artura, Vermilion Red, number 532. On the back, we've got our McLaren licensing. There's the UPC and our TSM sticker. Let's set that back there. The card art on this one's really nice. This one's actually pretty limited, so 2400 of the Miho exclusive blistered versions. Nice card art right there, it says Artura. Nothing real important on the back. So we'll take it out of the sleeve. Take a look at the car. This red one, I think. Well, I haven't looked at the I haven't looked at the green one yet, but I think this uh, I think this red one might be my favorite for the Arturas so far. The paint on it is really nice and crisp, and then it's got a bunch of like black details on it. And I'm a sucker for red and black. Anything. It's one of the best color combos for a car, I think. So, yeah, this one looks really good. So we'll start off with the wheels. It's got some nice. Uh, thinly spoked wheels. You can see the McLaren badge in the center right there, so that looks nice. Back one's pretty similar. Um, you'll notice that the back wheel is a little bit wider than the front. That's pretty normal on supercars like this. The mirrors are rubber, but they're a nice glossy black color, so I do like that. A little bit of like a vent right above the wheel right there, and then a reflector right there. Um, nice vent right here. It is pretty deep, so it does look nice. It's got some black paint back there. Maybe that's part of the plastic interior, but there's a little bit of a red line right here. I don't know if that's supposed to be like part of the door line or what, but yeah, I don't really know about that. And then, yeah, I don't know. I see something weird. Oh, look at that. So it actually looks like, it actually looks like this casting is two pieces and this is kind of where it connects. Maybe that's why there's like this little black line right here. It might actually be like, oh no, it's actually not painted black. Okay, you, okay, let me hold it back. Looking at it right here, I'm looking at it through the camera. Does that not look like black paint? <laughs> it's not. You get closer and you can see that's just a gap in the body right there, which is kind of weird. It looks like the casting is two pieces. It looks like there's a rear end piece and then like a front end piece. Or maybe this thing right here is separate. But that's kind of funky. I've never seen that. You can see where they connect together right here on the bottom on both sides. So I don't know. That's kind of weird. But there's a big old body gap right there. Funky. I don't know. Uh, it looks like there's a little indent for a fuel filler right there. Same thing on the other side, I guess. Looks uh, it's kind of weird. I wish it was, wish it was kind of like indented a little bit more, but I don't know. Anyways, got your door handle right there. The windows look nice. I don't see any glaring, obviously obvious window gaps. Going around to the front, you can see we've got our McLaren badge right on the front right here. The body lines on this one are really muted. It's like the paint is like real thick on this one. Because like back here you can obviously tell there's a body line, but then when you get to the front right here, it's very muted out along this like front section. So it's kind of funky on this one. I, haven't, I didn't notice that on the blue one, but nice acrylic inserted uh, headlights right here. That classic McLaren headlight shape I think looks pretty sweet. Um, got a little bit of detailing in here. I don't really know if this is like venting or if the air passes through or what. But it looks good. Bottom side of this is all painted red, so that's kind of nice. Going around to this side, pretty much the same exact thing. Take it all in. Yep, looks good. Going up to the top, the roof is going to be like a glossy, a glossy black color. Looks pretty good. And then there's on the rear end of it, there's like two little support bars that kind of go down, and then it's kind of it's kind of like flattened off right here. This is actually acrylic piece. It's got like some black printing on it and then you can see this like center piece is kind of acrylic. I think the whole piece is acrylic though. Right here 
I don't know exactly what this is. I don't know if this is, obviously this is where the engine is, so I would imagine this is all venting for the engine bay. I don't know what this little piece right here is. I don't know if that's like a big like intake or if that's like a third exhaust because there's two on the back. But there is a little piece right here that's outlined in silver. Looks pretty good. Some more details in here. I don't know a lot about the Artura, so I can't really give you that information. But we got nice exhaust tips right here. They're outlined in silver. A bunch of nice meshing on the back. Tail lights right here. They're not acrylic. They are just painted on. But I think it looks fine for this one. We've got Artura along the back um, license plate right there. And then you can see in between, like right here and the diffuser, there's actually a decent amount of like... Uh, exhaust detail or what whatever you want to call it back in here so that does look pretty nice like back in the car a ways so that looks good you've got your rear diffuser right here nothing crazy pretty standard and then on the bottom not really much of anything so that's the red version right there I'll throw up a picture on screen if I can find one and we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at this one so this is the number 496 again McLaren licensing right there there's your UPC Pretty much going to be the same exact model, just in a different color. So let's see what it's all about, this flux green, flux pavilion. Alright, so it looks pretty good, not bad. It's kind of a interesting color, but it looks pretty nice. You can see it's a kind of metallic, just like the red one. It does look really good though. I'm noticing right away that this one, the body lines and stuff aren't weird like they were on the red one except this one on the side where it's like jointed in but yeah it looks pretty good same exact wheels with the mclaren badge in the center pretty much all the same details this one's just in a different color and also you'll notice like on the red one the roof was black this one the roof is just the same body color but yeah so all the same details back here on the roof and everything same stuff on the back right here and then, i guess i missed on the red one there's couple like red reflectors like up under this like grill right here so there is that there's still that gap where you can see the details back there looks pretty nice I like it I like it not my favorite car ever but I do like McLaren a good little bit so yeah I do like these McLaren Arturas just real quick actually we'll throw up a picture on screen if I can find one in this flux green color but yeah nothing I'm not gonna go over all the details again you saw it on the red one just a nice like green color green metallic and it does look the green in real life does look a little bit duller than it does on camera so it kind of looks more like a lime green it's very it's kind of more dull like take lime green and then like tone it down a couple notches that's kind of what it looks like in person but also take a quick look at the the blue one real quick i don't have the box to show you but um this is the blue one. The wheels do look like they're a different color. They're more of like a gunmetal gray than these ones. The wheels are kind of black. So the wheels are a little bit different color, but same exact style with the McLaren badge in the center. And then obviously we've got the blue roof, no black. And yeah, pretty much the same details again on this one. Looks nice. I like the blue one. I like the red one. The green one's all right. But I think the red one's definitely my favorite. So, yep, that's it. Heck. I'll treat you guys. I'll throw up a picture of this one on screen too, if I can find it. So there you have it. The Artura collection is growing as Mini GT keeps pumping these out. This is this is all the only three they've done of it so far. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Drop a like if you did enjoy. And we will see you guys in the next video.